But this is the, 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 the perfect Ultron play, bro. This is what we want to see with this deck. Eight cubes and full bot with Ultron bots, bro. Cool, dude. Hi guys, I bring you here a pretty strong deck, an awesome deck. This is S tier material for sure, at least A tier material in all of Marvel Snap. This is a pretty strong deck. It has the two uh, advantages that I feel uh, for me are the most important things in Marvel Snap, and they are pushing a lot of points and being consistent, having the ability to pull your combo off in the majority of games. Those are two good things in a, a strong Marvel Snap deck. There are some decks that focus on deceiving the opponent to get 8 cubes. And you can do that only 1 in 5 games, you know. But And those decks are cool too. But I like more decks like, like this one. They are reliable, they are consistent, and they push a lot of powers in almost every game. So, what is the strategy in this deck? As you can see the core... There is Patriot, Ultron, and Mystique. So it is pretty obvious what is the strategy. You want to push power in uh, cards with no abilities with the Patriot and the Mystique. And Ultron gives you a bunch of bots that are cards with no abilities. That is the strategy of this deck. You want a Patriot, you want to Mystique your Patriot, and then you want to Ultron in the last turn and slap a bunch of unexpected points. If your opponent isn't expecting the Ultron, that is a big power play, bro. And they they don't always expect the Ultron. They can expect a, a, a other things like an Onslaught or like a bunch of no ability cards, you know. Uh, you could maybe make this deck work without the Mystique if you haven't unlocked the Mystique yet. But you need the Ultron plus, uh, plus Patriot for sure. You could potentially uh, uh, swap the Mystique with something else, but Patriot plus, uh, plus uh, Ultron are definitely the way to go if you want to build this deck, because there is a Patriot deck that doesn't use Ultron. I have a lot of video about that one. I will leave the link up here, and that deck is also pretty strong, but that is another archetype with Patriot that doesn't utilize Ultron. If you want to build this one, which I believe is stronger than the other one, you need Ultron plus Patriot. Mystique is pretty good to have, but you could potentially build it without her, but you are going to lose a lot of power. And if you have the core, you have all the other cards. Maybe you don't have Wasp and the Reed, but everything else you have. And Wasp and the Reed aren't necessary. You can swap them out with whatever you want that has no ability. Even a Mysterio, if you have and you know. So that is a strategy. Pretty straightforward deck to play. You have to be uh, uh, strategically about how you place your Patriot and your Mystique and your Ultron so the, the bots uh, land where they should land and uh, maybe your Onslaught be if you don't draw your Ultron and you want to uh, press power you with your Onslaught because yes, you have an, an Onslaught, Blue Marvel, like I said, you are pushing ongoing abilities to buff all your stuff and be careful uh, for those enchanters that can screw you over and that is everything, bro. I hope you like the deck and, and, and that you enjoy the clips that I'm going to play you uh, with me playing the, the deck and showing you how to play the deck and that you like what you see. And maybe you can build this deck and climb because this deck is very strong. It's one of the strongest deck in all of Marvel Snap. And I guarantee it, I put my name on the line. And again, thank you very much. You can uh, subscribe and like the video, bro. That will help me out a lot. And you can also follow me on Twitch. I stream live and you can come and hang out with me and uh, uh, watch me live play these decks, bro. Thank you very much. We are against the top G, bro. Give me the Misty Knight. I didn't draw her, but I have my Mr. Sinister. And I hope I draw my Patriot. Akasar, not bad. I can Ultron Atlantis, he has high base power and get a lot of bots in the other locations. Forge. I can also Kassar Blue Marvel Ultron, something like that. This Mystique won't copy anything and this rock sucks, so I don't have a play. My play is Kassar Blue Marvel Ultron. I believe I will go for that. Maybe in Atlantis so the other lanes get the, all the buffs.
I will play my Kassar. Next turn, I can mistake the Kassar and play a Squirrel Girl or play or just play the Blue Marble. Which I believe is better. I love you. So he can play one more card there, but I will have a lot of power here. He snaps me. I don't know if that is what you should do, bro. I will keep playing just to see what are you what you're going to play. A hog goblin, alright. Alright. I don't know if that, that is a snack material, you know. Because now I Ultron and fill everything with a lot of power. I should win this game. The bots will have two power each. I will push six power in Shadowland and four power in Subterranean. Mass all the power that I have in Atlantis. He has to play in every lane to win. Or at least in two lanes to take them away from me. I'm in a good spot with, with these cubes. And I need them. I need them for sure. Come on, dude. Give me the eight cubes. I need those eight cubes, dude. Come on. The dude is really thinking about it. So if he plays, he has a good play. He, he continued playing a rock. Ah, for the love, yo. A white tiger. I win, right? Because I will win middle. For sure I win middle. I lose Shadowland, but I win middle. Nice. Eight cubes, bro. This is great. Nice, nice, nice. Victory. Okay, so I have to win Baxter Building. I guess I will play Shocker there. Or should I play Mr. Sinister there? And cloning bats. I will play the Mr. Sinister in Baxter Building. I can play Shocker Poros Squirrel Girl or the Patriot. And there is a Mystique. So knowing that I have Mystique, I guess I should play the Patriot. And next one I can Mystique plus a Squirrel Girl and then I will Blue Marble. I snap because I have a uh, good draws. Now I can mistake. Where should I mistake? That's the question. Because I'm not planning of playing uh, Onslaught this game. But I'm planning on playing Ultron. So I have to position Ultron in a way that I get a lot of bots, you know? So. And a Squirrel Girl is like the same thing as a bot. But if I play a Squirrel Girl, I'm kind of telegraphing my place. So I believe it's better to not play a Squirrel Girl and just play Mystic here. Next turn I will Blue Marvel and then I will play Ultron. And I will have a bunch of bots, you know. That is a play, for sure. The Squirrels as, are the same thing as the Ultron, you know. But... Uh, the main square is weaker than a blue marble or that the uh, ultron body you know i could even copy the mystique that is also a play is that better than blue marble because i could cop I, I could copy the ongoing ability from mystique no but i will blue marble i, I, I don't think i don't know if the if this fizzles out or whatever so i will i will just blue marble i already snapped And last turn I will turn the Baxter building so all the lanes will get filled with bots. If he doesn't pull a, a Cosmo there. Jubilee and Nakia. Okay, I win Baxter building. But I will play uh, Ultron there either way. Oh well, I, I now need to play the Ultron there for sure. Are you sure about that snap, bro? Because I will take away Baxter building from you. And I will win all the other locations. And that Devil Dino isn't enough to win. Why, why did you snap me, bro? 
That was weird. But this is the, 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 the perfect Ultron play, bro. This is what we want to see with this deck. Eight cubes and full bot with Ultron bots, bro. Cool, dude. This is this feels, this feels great, bro. This feels great. So I have Misty Knight for turn one. And the Sword Season. I don't really care. I will play there. Quick seal, bro. Are you playing the Agatha deck, the AFK deck, with the Quicksilver? I don't know. I will play the Bree, I guess. The Bifrost is going to move all my bullshit, so where do I want to play the Bree? In the Bifrost, I will have two rocks in it, I believe. That is kind of cool. I will play Kassar Blue Marble. The question is, do I want to mistake the Blue Marble or do I want to Ultron? I have to, to think about that. I will play the Kassar now for sure. And the Wasp. Now, next turn I will play Blue Marble. I don't think I have a, a better play than that. Unless I, I don't mind. I have a Mr. Sinister. <clears throat> so I could mistake the Kassar and play Mr. Sinister. That is a good play. But I don't have so much things that take advantage of the Kassar ability. So I will play the Blue Marvel. So he discards a wall and he only has three possible spots where he can play. He has a full need ability, so I can win that location easily. The question is, do I wanna Ultron or do I wanna Mystic the Blue Marble? Mystic in the Blue Marble will automatically give me need ability. I will have three extra power uh, energy to play Mr. Sinister plus Squirrel Girl. But I don't know if that's enough to win the other locations. Ultron will give me two power bots, you know, so a bot in the Nidavalir will win me the location I can Ultron uh, in the Bifrost and I, build, I will be winning Bifrost, I'm winning two locations And three two cost bots, I will have three one cost bots in Sword Season, I will be losing that one I could mistake the Blue Marvel and play Mr. Sinister there I don't have much time to keep thinking Mystic in the Blue Marvel and playing Mr. Sinister in the Sword System will give me I have to play, I play I'll play Dultron. I, I don't have time to keep thinking. And I win. I believe so. Does do he win? Does he tie a complete tie? No, big nice. He I was winning here by seven points and he was winning by six points. So I won by one point this entire game. Wow, that is cool, dude. So I have to play there my abilities with no um, my cards with no abilities because the Patriot gets gets the fuse there. I have my own slot. I will play my shocker in the Isle of Silence. We have a debris that I can play in the Isle of Silence, depending on, on what reveals here. The lab, so I can't play there. Oh, but I have my Patriot too. I will play the Patriot. Next turn, I can Kassar. Middle, of course. Last turn, I have the Onslaught and I have the Ultron.
and I have my mystique and I have to fill this lane next turn I have to place something there the question is will I play the onslaught or, or will I play the trombo? that is the question And you know what the answer is? I will play my Ultron. I will play Kassar here. And then Ultron here. And this will get filled with bots. And this will get filled with bots. And the bots will have the two bots from Patriot and Mystic plus the buff from Kassar. Because if I play Onslaught, I don't really have anything to buff, you know? And that is a stupid. Gives him a hope goblin, not really that bad. I'm still good. And he snatched me back. Are you going to defuse my thing with an enchantress? That is the only thing that can uh, win you the game, bro. The only thing that can win you the game is that. If you don't have an enchantress, oh, you, you lost. You lost Wind for sure. Aid my GG, my brother, the big play with Ultron. These cookies gave me the power, bro. Eight cubes. Victory. Okay, so I have Misty Knight and a Squirrel Girl. I believe I like Misty Knight in the cloning bats to have another auction of, of a car. But the Squirrel Girl is kind of good too, but she kind of tends to crowd all the lanes and I don't know if I want to do that I will play the missing knight and we have a murder war I will shock her the cloning bats I will have a good turn 3 with missing knight plus shocker if I don't draw anything better And a Jarenheim. All right. I have Mr. Sinister. Shocker, Misty Knight. Do I want to play cards in Jarenheim? I don't know if I want to. If I play Mr. Sinister in Cloning Bats, I will fill the location. I don't like that either. I can do something like this. And play the Misty Knight in Jarenheim. Or... Oh, oh backwards because shocker is has more power you know he will get to zero so it isn't like a proper play i will shocker and, and just leave it at that lady if the hell cow okay not bad now i have a wasp a shocker and a mr sinister i can mr sinister middle I have a shocker and I was he retreats. So he's not feeling confident because he discarded something stupid. Okay, one free cube. A good start for the day. I'm not mad at that. I I, I didn't draw my, my Patriot, so I wasn't really in a good spot either. I hope I, I can climb to 70 before the seasons were set. So I don't get demoted to 30, but uh, to 40 instead. And I have my Patriot here. I can play Mr. Sinister next turn. And then I have Patriot plus Kassar and a non -solo. This is pretty good. Sinister London. Do I want to play Mr. Sinister there? No, because I will play all my combo pieces there. So I will Mr. Sinister the sword system. And in Sinister London, I will just uh, Patriot Kassar on -solid. In fact, I shoot a snap. Ooh, and I have my mystique, bro. So, what is the combo here? I Patriot, and next turn, I mystique the Patriot. 
and he snags me back, I will snap you back, bro. I don't give a fuck. If I play Mystic, ah, uh, he flips the Sinister Run. So now my own slot in that lane is kind of bullshit, right? I can do this. Next turn I can Kassar. The Bree will give me rocks, but my own slot is... Doesn't matter now. At least I have a Patriot plus Mystic. I can push power middle with the with the square girls and the rock. Oh no, with the, I, I should have played the square girl in another lane so the square get in the middle. That was a stupid mistake, bro. But now we have Ultron. Now we have Ultron. Do I wanna do I wanna play something like Kassar? That gives power to the to the Ultron bullshit. Yes, I do. I do wanna do that. I should win the other two locations. I could. I'm giving four power, so my bots with Ultron will have five power. A shocker will have more power. The debris will give me a rock with four power. So it isn't enough to win in the floor area. He will play an infinite because he made the sunspot grow. So I need more than 20 power in both locations. Depending on where he plays. Eight power heal will give me 19 points. Minus one 18 points and I will lose. So, I think I lose this game, bro. Because my best play is Ultron here. I will get two, uh, two bots here and a bot here. But that won't be f uh, enough to win the Florida area. And it won't be enough to win here if he plays the, the infinite there. I will see it through. But I, I know what happens. If he plays the infinite in the cloning bats, it is great for me. Oh, he didn't play an infinite, and he decided to play in the cloning bats. That is cool. Electra, the squirrel girl. All right, I, I'm still in a good position. Come on, bro. Warpath. Come on, come on. Nice. I win. I'm glad I didn't. I, I played the game and I didn't retreat, bro. That is nice, dude. Victory. If you are still here, thank you very much. You're awesome. I hope you enjoyed the games that you just watched. And if you did, please consider leaving me a like and subscribing to the channel. That will help me out a lot to keep uploading videos. I upload videos about Marvel Snap every day. I also stream live on Twitch. I will leave the link down in the description. You can come and hang out with me and play some games and watch me play these games live. And you can also follow me on Twitter. I post there every time that I upload a video. And when I go live on Twitch, I will leave the link down in the description. And again, thanks, bro. You are awesome for being here. And remember, as the great Bill Hicks said, this is just a ride.